What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fade four plays for tomorrow, April 9th. We have five games LPL and LCK um, League. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new or supporting the channel. I always appreciate the love. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. All right, so for LPL, we have uh, Royal Never Gives Up versus L. GD gaming. All right, now Royal is a favor, uh, negative six six seven in the money line. We also have LPL with Edward Gaming versus LNG Esports. All right, Edward is uh, negative three hundred thirty three in the money line. So that could be a swing game to look into. That you know, those are the type of games you want to definitely help to differentiate your lines to cash big. Um, is getting those upset games. So LNG could be an upset. Um, but going to the next game, LPL, we have Invictus Gaming versus JG, JD Gaming. All right. This is also a swing game I like here a lot. All right. JD Gaming is 8 and 4 right now to Invictus Gaming. They're 10 and 1. All right. But um, they only have a money line. Invictus has a money line of negative 244. So this could definitely be a great upset game to target for your lines. Um, also, we have LCK with T1. All right, versus Sandbox. Uh, T1 is, is 12 and 3 to Sandbox 5 and 10. So this is going to be a landslide game to look into. It might be uh, low owning in T1 spot. So you could definitely look into the T1 plays in the mids and um, ADC spots for T1. Um, and also we have Griffin versus um, AF, a freak of freaks. Um, and this also uh, this is one of those games you could definitely gamble on. I mean, Griffin just came off that big win last game. Uh, they probably just real stoked out and real confident coming into this game. They're four and twelve. To Freaka, they are six and nine. So Griffin could be a team to definitely look into. Um, but, but they're both, you know, Griffin's one hundred one negative one hundred one money line to Afrika's is one thirty two. All right, so that's something you want to consider on all these games. All right, so let's jump right into it in our top spot. Going to go with a savings play with Zoom. Going against um, Invictus here. Like this play, he's just a real great value spot here. Averaging 77.3 fame points. Also at, um, averaging the lowest in deaths a game in the past five matchups. With 1.6 in deaths a game. And also he's averaging 6.2 kills in the past five matchups. That's the most in the position. All right, and also... Um, in the past five games, averaging 20.4 kills and assists a game. This is a great spot to look into, averaging 14.2 assists a game as well. 22.9 in damage percentage a game. Great play to look into Zoom for your lines um, in the top spot. All right, let's look into our jungler spot. Jungler is something you want to definitely consider. It's one of the things I like to look into um, is jungler mixed with the mid I'm sorry, jungler mixed with the ADC and the support. So one guy I love the most is Kanavi. At 6,400 is a cheap play. 74.6 fame points a game. 78.9 kill participation a game. Second highest in the position. 6.1 crease score per minute a game. That's the most in the position. 18.5 in damage percentage. So that's the reason why I like this team to definitely get some uh, upset is because they got some great guys that's just eager and they work good as a team in my opinion but and it could also creep up on Invictus here um, so great spot to look into for Hanavi and just play at the jungler spot all right let's look into our mids all right now mids I want to look into Edward Gaming all right going against LNG now this could be a toss-up game a negative 333 um, so this could be a tough play i mean go with scout here i like this play for scout let me see if i can click on his name he's averaging 72.6 fame points a game 13.4 assists a game in the past five matchups that is the most in the position averaging 8.6 kills a game in the past five matchups 64.4 uh, kill participation in, and also 26.5 in damage percent percentage so great great play to look into but like i said going with t1 could be a, a sneak play a lot of people don't want to target guys in, in the lck uh really because of the lineup they don't really make, uh, they don't confirm their lineups till late um i think in career is is actually um 
they're restricted to do that um, in gambling. So uh, one thing, can, um, a guy named Kenzie One Three One, he's he's in my description. You want to follow him on Twitter? He at least gives you the first game that starts at 2 a.m. He gives you that first game um, around one o'clock, almost 12 o'clock. Um, to give you that at least a confirmed line from uh, the LCK side of things uh, before lockdown. So definitely look into him to give you those lines. Um, but I like Faker here. All right, he's averaging 67.3 fantasy points, 67.4 kill participation a game, 8.9 increased score per minute. All right, that's also the most in a position as well. 27.1 in damage percentage, so it's a great game to target. Uh, knowing that T1 is a negative 769 on money line, so it's a, it could be a game that could just give a good landslide here. Um, so I like Faker, the mid um, ADC. Of course, you can look into Teddy. I like to keep this. I like to keep a two man, like a two team stack. Uh, Teddy could be a, a play that a lot of people are not gonna look into. Uh, he's averaging 79.2 paints points a game, 75.4 percentage and kill participation, 10.8 in creep score per minute. So he's constantly going around killing minions and doing what he got to do, man, to get the goal for the squad. Um, 31.5 in damage percentage. So Teddy could be a sleeper here um, in this play. Um, also, another guy you could look into if you want to still want to target JDD is also. Um, Loken, 6400, he's too cheap still. Uh, I like this play for him. He's averaging 73.4 fame points a game, second highest in assists a game. So definitely want to take a look at him with Loken. I'm um, adding eight kills a game, 12.4 assists a game. Great play. We want to, you know, keep up, you know, just still go with the ADC side. Uh, I like Teddy a lot, so... Um, go Teddy. You can go Teddy at ADC. You could go Loken at ADC and then put Teddy at captain. Um, it's those things I like here. So I'm more likely going to have Teddy. I'm more likely going to put Teddy at the captain. But just for the video, give me my fave four. Um, so those are my fave four, y'all. Now, if you want to look at support, of course, you want to look at guys that's always going to be paired up with the ADC. So if you got Teddy, you want to look at effort. Um, if you want to look at Loken, you want to go at like Lob Mall. Uh, that's how you pronounce his name. Um, that's his name right here, L V M A O. He's a great guy to look into for JDD. J D G. J J G D G. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. But those are guys you want to definitely look into, man. Like if you want to look into Edward with Betty at uh, ADC with Ming at support, but. Those are my fave four, y'all. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Also, if you want access to my cheat sheet, click the link in the description for Draft Dashboard Tools for the cheat sheet as well. And also, follow me on Twitter for any updates. And also, follow Kenzie131 for your confirmed lineups. So that's definitely a great source for lineups for, L um, for League of Legends. All right, so I love y'all, man. I collect that bag for tomorrow. All right, sorry for the late videos. It's been constantly grinding, especially for the EU Masters. It's just been constant research throughout the day. So sorry about that, but I'll hopefully give you the next video early tomorrow for April 10th. All right, so I love y'all. Y'all take care and y'all be blessed. See y'all in the next video.